So let's put everything we've learned from sections 5.1 and 5.2 together in one problem. So hospital records indicate that random kidney placement patients stayed in the hospital for the number of days shown in the distribution over the past five years. Explain why this is a valid probability model. Okay, so for a probability model, you have to follow two rules, which is that these probabilities must add up to one, and that each of the probabilities themselves must be between zero and one. Okay, so first thing I can check, they're all between zero and one. So all probabilities are between zero and one. Easy enough. Now we need to check that they add to one. So let me go grab decimals really quickly and add these up. Yep, they make one. No problem. All right, so we know that the sum over here is one. So all the probabilities, oops, I guess I have to, can't spell the word probabilities correctly, probabilities, Oh, no, I guess I am doing it right. There. Add up to 1. Done. Okay. All right, what is the probability a patient stays 4 days? Well, that's very easy. That's section 5.1, so the probability of 4 is 0 0.252. Easy peasy. Now, what is the probability a patient stays three days or four days? And I realize I should add something in here, and I often do ask a question about this. So let's make a note. Three and four are disjoint, because a patient can't stay for both at the same time. They either stay three days or they stay four days, but they can't stay both. A patient cannot do both at the same time? That's a frequent question to be asked. So even though it wasn't strictly um, one of these questions, you should throw those notes in for yourself, right? Three and four are disjoint um, because a patient cannot do both at the same time. They either stay three days or they stay four days, but they can't do both. Okay, so that means I want the probability of three or four. I noticed the or in there. So I want to go back and look at my probability rules. And I'm just going to look at them in my appendix here. So or f, e or f, right, three or four would be either rule number one or rule number two. Since these events are disjoint, it's actually going to be rule number one. I'm just going to add. Simple as that. So I'm going to use rule number one. And you don't have to write this down for yourself, but for your notes, you know, it's not like this is going to be a requirement. You know, what probability rule are you using? But you want to write it down for yourself now so that you'll know what you're doing. So the probability of 3 or 4 is the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4, which is 0 0.118 plus 0 0.252. And there we have it. So that would be uh, 0.37. Technically 370, but when we have a zero at the end of a decimal like that, we generally don't bother writing it. But, you know, there you have it. <laughs> okay, so next. What's the probability that a patient stays fewer than six days? Well, fewer than six would be... Actually, let me do this in pink here. Fewer than six would be three, four, or five, right? So what I'm really asking is, what's the chances that they stay three, four, or five, or in other words, less than six, right? So six is no good, seven's no good. So again, this is rule number one. We can just add up all the values. So the probability of th fewer than six is the probability of three, plus the probability of 4, plus the probability of 5. Oh, and I should say these are all disjoint. Right? If you're staying 5 days, you're not staying 3 days, and vice versa. So that would be 0 0.118 plus 0 0.252 plus 0 0.441, which adds up to 0 0.811. You can, of course, go check it in Desmos, but I swear <laughs> that's what it will be. All right, now, what about at least six? 
at least is a weird word in English. At least actually means more than. I know it has L-E in it, so a lot of students originally, initially think less than, but it's not true. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. Matter of fact, I'm going to highlight it in green or something here. At least means greater than or equal to. It's a quirk in the English language. And we'll run into this quirk some more soon. Um, but at least means greater than or equal to. It does not mean less than. A lot of students get confused because they see the LE and they think less than. But it's actually not. It's actually greater than. Um, at least means that much or more. So the probability that you stay at least 6 means the probability of 6 or more which of course in this case would be the probability of 6 plus the probability of 7 which would be 0 0.150 plus 0 0.039 which is 0 0.189 so that's rule number one again everything so far has been disjoint All right, now, what about the probability that they stay an even number of days or less than five days? All right, even number or less than five? Well, even numbers would be four and six, right? When you think about even numbers, this is even, this is even. These three numbers are odd, right? Three, five, and seven. If you remember back to, to basic math class a long time ago in your life, right? So even number would be 4 or 6. Less than 5 would be 3 or 4, right? Less than 5. So 5 doesn't count. Less than 5, so 3 or 4. So you'll notice 4 is in both of them. So these are not disjoint. It is possible to be both even and less than 5. I'll um, just write that. Possible to be both even and less than 5 at the same time. Again, write it down. Even though it wasn't a particular question, um, that's the kind of question that it can become a question real quick. I can ask questions like that. Or so can your instructor if you're watching this from another instructor. Okay, so this is not disjoint. So this means you're going to use rule number two. Rule number two. Because you want or, right, see the or in there? So you know it's going to be rule number one or rule number two because it says or. So or, but there is an overlap. Okay, so the probability of even or less than 5 is the probability of even plus the probability of less than 5 minus the probability of both at the same time. Okay, evens. 4 and 6. A 4 and a 6, I want to go add those up. Right? So I'm going to take 4 and 6 and add them up. So 252 plus 150. Let me grab decimals here. Okay. So 0 0.252 plus 0 0.150 is 402. Less than 5, I'm just going to add those up. That's 3 and 4. So 0 0.118 plus 0. Point, oh, what was it? 252. So 0 0.37. All right, so I'm going to add those up. So less than 5, or even, 0 0.402 plus less than 5, we just did, that's 0 0.370. It's actually up here, right, because 3 or 4 is less than 5. And then I want to take away the probability of both. Well, both is the 4, so I'm going to take away 0 0.252. Right, because 0 0.252 was part of the 0 0.402 and it's part of the 37, right? 0 0.252 is in both of them. So that's not fair. So you take 0 0.402 plus 0 0.37 and you take away 0 0.252 and you get 0 0.520. Right there.
Again, the zero at the end there is unnecessary. I'm just writing it because because <laughs> because we said three decimal places and I didn't want people to, to lose it. But you don't have to write a zero at the end. All right, what is the probability that a patient did not stay? Hmm. Okay, so that's a red flag to me. Did not stay means rule number three. It's negative voice, so this is a compliment. So I want the probability of not staying six days is one minus the probability of six days, which is one take away six, which was 0 0.150, which is 0 0.850. Easy enough. All right, now all of these probabilities are empirical because they were from um, real data. Right? They were tracking hospital records. And so therefore, this is real data. Therefore, this is empirical. And I realized that question wasn't there in spring of 23, but it will be there for future. So you might as well write it down.